Welcome to Belkiot.com, where today we're analyzing gold at GC on the COMEX. Uh, as you can notice right here, this is a daily chart of gold itself, where if you're someone who's familiar with watching bars, you might be able to do your own in-house technical analysis with your eyes. But Mustafa Belkiot has developed a tool called the Riviere de Belkiot. And let's take a look at that right now. This particular tool slices and dices uh, bar charts to break down the movement into sections that are definable by support and resistance lines on horizontal as well as diagonal levels. To continue, what we see here is that we have several different lines going diagonally as well as horizontally and vertically, and we inserted also a 200-day moving average. So in order to break down gold, what we've done is we've defined these areas of support and resistance that may be of importance. The first thing we notice is that we have what we call the um, outside envelope line right here. This is the blue line traveling downward. This particular mark started in October of 2012 and continues on today until we get down to the day's level. Um, as you will notice that this uh, bottom line right here was an, also an outside envelope which disappeared somewhere around July where we received our first double bottom. Now we'll get to bubble bottoms right now. Uh, the gold market has experienced a very strong support on a double bottom that started on July 28th as well as December uh, 31st of 2012 at the mark of 1180. Uh, which normally means when you have a double bottom like this that the support itself is very strong. Uh, we also know some fundamentals about this particular product where gold itself, uh, obviously to mine it costs a certain amount, so it can't go down too much further or else it's going to start cutting into the actual supply of gold. So what we notice in today is that we actually have a rising wedge happening at this very point. This is significant because the compression of data itself is coming to a point where it has to go in one of either directions. Um, obviously, it's riding along the top envelope, which is a time price decay line, which means that every bar it keeps getting lower. So eventually, it's going to get into a tight wedge where it has to do a breakout. Uh, we anticipate either a break up or a breakdown within the next couple of days will occur. Um, obviously, you notice that the 200-day moving average price is below it right now, but it is rising off of this double bottom. This next chart shows support and resistance or hip lop aging. Now what we mean by hips and lops are really simple once you think about the hip. It's a high point and a lop is a low point. Uh, our formula for defining this also helps us to define these channels similar to a zigzag where we can actually pivot lines off the top and the bottom of uh, particular resistance and support levels. If you look back, uh, we want to note the following. Uh, something like this particular mark right here, age 221 bars, price bounced off of it only to bust through quite completely and pass by the next resistance, which is almost twice as old. And of course, it came down to another historical resistance that was 555 bars. Now, what some note is when this price bounced back up, it now valued a line that it went through, meaning, hey, is this particular price right here of importance? And we went through, but obviously it faded off and never really made it to it. Going down to another uh, historical support line that was 736 bars, our first double bottom. So we uh, value certain high points and low points over others and find that once these are violated, they are less important than the ones that are active, meaning that if a line has not crossed over this particular resistance right here, or this particular resistance right here, it's more important than the one back at this level, which has been crossed over several times. So in making our final assessment of what's going to happen with gold, we're going to start with the support level first. Um, we believe that the first level of, re of support is going to happen at the double bottom of 1180, which happened in uh, July and also December this past year. So if price breaks through this lower uh, trend line, which happens to be a dynamically built trend line, so it's a, it actually is pretty accurate on what the historical marks were. If it busts through, there's a very good chance it's going to either fade off or touch it and bounce once or twice. 
If it does break through or close below it, the second level is at 11.25, which is right here at this particular level. We believe that this is a, a really significant mm -hmm. uh, support line, mainly because it goes back to March of 2010. It's quite old. So the chances of it actually busting through this without stopping, we think is, is not the expectation is it's going to stop here first before it um, makes a decision to go to a lower level. On the resistance side, we think this actually has a greater chance of being reached first. If you look at the rising wedge happening off the double bottom and the consolidation happening at this point, the very first uh, resistance level is actually the one that hit about a week ago at the price of 1280. The very next mark is the, uh, oh, another thing part about the, the 1280, we also value that maybe there is an uh, ATR worth a length that this could be hit above this trend line, which is very simple to reach quite simply. So the, um, there's a very good chance it's going to be hit first. The next mark is the 200-day uh, moving average. Now, the 200-day moving average actually is lining up fairly close to this mark historically, the one that we said we didn't value in the last screen. Uh, when this occurs, there's a chance that this line will decay even further down. Right now it's at 1316, down to 1300, and possibly up to a range of, say, 1322. So somewhere in there, if the price closes and closes above it, the next mark it would hit is our level 3 of 1362, which is this historical mark right here. Um, no telling if it's going to bounce off or go through, but we expect price of gold to actually come up and touch and possibly close over the 200-day moving average as being the, uh, the first serious resistance. Thank you. Um, we're going to have other analyzations on, the, on oil as well as the dollar and, of course, the SPX. Uh, we hope to talk to you soon. Thank you.